Um, I heard a story that said uh, Jesus needs to be the king of your life uh, in order for you to go to heaven. And so that night um, I prayed and I asked Jesus to be the king of my life so that I could be saved. Um, in the first uh, few years of high school, uh, so 13, 14, and 15, um, things went, went quite well. And um, I started going to the Christian group uh, at my school. And um, yeah, I followed Jesus with all my heart then. But uh, this year there were some, some hard things uh, to go through. Recently, over the last few weeks, I've been reading uh, Psalms in the Bible and reading about God's power and how He can uh, sort of lift us up from, from the hard times. And also um, uh, about how Jesus um, can pick us up. And so now my joy is around the fact that one day I'm going to stand in heaven with Jesus. Um, because he saved me from from the hard things, and so I might just share a verse with you. I'll just grab my Bible, which is somewhere, or anyone's Bible. Yeah. And it's just um, Romans eight thirty eight. If you want to look that one. Oh, you got one. Yeah, a lot of people know that one. But... Um. In English it says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, my hope is restored, and I know that one day um, I'll stand next to Jesus in heaven, and uh, I won't have to go through the hard times anymore.